the getting to actually feel like an adult has been a process in my life. I mean, like to actually feel like, I think at 18 I was calling myself a grown ass man, but that's yeah. hilarious. I was yeah. a baby boy. Yeah. And then at 25, I, I started to feel more adult. I started to feel kind of the healthy responsibility of that time and, and starting to feel like I had the capacity to hold it. Um, but then really it was like turning 30, 31 that I'm like, oh, this is adulthood. This is... Is it? <laughs> I just said, is it? I, I think it's constantly happening. You're constantly maturing. I don't think right. there's a, a finality to it, but I do feel I am in the adult phase of my life for right. real now. Right. And it took a lot of different shit happening. Um, what, what were some like notable points for you where you felt, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an adult now? Um really started happening just recently. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know? That's what I said, last two years. Um, when I was, so those kind of similar age, this ages, let's just go with those, um, 18, you know, first of all, there's a little bit of arrogance that comes up because you're like making money at 18 mm. and not arrogant like, hey, I got money, you know, just like, I've got it all under control. Yeah, I got this. I got it. Checks coming in. No idea how to manage any of that. You know, I've, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't change anything. But like, if I, I, you know, would you give your young self some advice? I'd say, oh my God, invest. Do, you know, when you're making money, like, I think uh, this might be a little bit more of a curse of, um, it's definitely a curse of growing up, but I think even more so of being in entertainment because there's not a lot of thought into, um, a lot of musicians I know are, shit, I'll die making music. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go, do this forever. I'll go to zero and beyond yeah. to do it. And I think actors feel like, and musicians feel like that a lot of times. Like, this is it. It's, yeah. either, it's, it's, it's make it big or die trying, you know, yeah. whatever. And I just was never of the mindset of, like, securing my future later. Yeah. You know, because I don't even think you even think about getting old. Yeah. Not at 18. What's that going to be like? Yeah. And I still feel super young. I am super young. You know, whenever you talk to someone, a lot of older people still call you a baby at 32, which For is sure. hilarious. But I'm like, I mean, I feel like that sometimes. I feel like super, like, I'm just figuring it all out. But 18, I didn't know shit. Yep. And I was just trying to do this show, you know, just showing up and doing it and trying your best. And we made a lot of funny stuff. I think we did really well. Yeah. And then all the way through the touring. And I mean, it's like not realistic. Yeah, thinking that it'll go forever. Well, not just that, but it's not realistic. It's not a good place for an 18-year-old to develop mm. his mentality when you're staying at the Four Seasons mm. and um, flying. We didn't really fly private, but a couple times. But, you know, always flying first class, having that paid for mm. um, because that was like Nick and Sony's responsibility, having them pay for that, which ended up we pay for it anyway. But, yeah, yeah. you know, it comes back around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, spending money on clothes and having a nice car. I mean, it's like, why shouldn't I have a nice car at 18, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And now I look back on that and just is like so insignificant and it didn't matter at all. Hmm. You know, I mean, I drive a Subaru now and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> Dude, I still drive the only car I've ever had. Got it at 17. You know Scion what I mean? TC. It's just like, <laughs> I think the whole mentality, that maybe is the getting older part that I have noticed is the being more frugal. I and mean, that doesn't happen to everybody, but yeah. at least it happened for me. And that was a byproduct of not having as much money as I used to have. For sure. You know, so eventually you either, you either got to like make some cuts yeah, yeah, yeah. or you're really going to go to zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will tell you that that was definitely not, I was like, I definitely don't want to go to zero. Yeah. You I know, went to zero. I would, I, you did? Yeah. Went to zero at 25. It's like, I would leave, I would leave I, before I... I, I was the living way. the lifestyle I had always been living, which wasn't extravagant. It yeah, was just because you were making free. money, but it wasn't like I mean, people should understand this by the way. When you're on a TV show, on Nickelodeon, on Nickelodeon, and you're 15 or 18 or yeah. whatever, you're making money, but you're not making lifetime money. Yeah, you're not making money that lasts forever. So it, sometimes, in a lot of cases, it, it, myself included, sometimes it doesn't even last 10 years. Right. And people think it's you Same. know like if you want a million dollar lottery, it's okay. Well. You're still gonna have your job. Yep. You're not going. You're not going anywhere. Yep. 
you might be able to put a down payment on a house and yep. you can make if you make some right investments with if you make cool, the right investments that's and not you, that's not quit your job but if money. you make a million dollars and then you don't make anything after that yeah that just that lasts you how many years yeah. yeah especially when you live a little bit elevated lifestyle and again i don't think either of us were i wasn't extravagant but no. it was free it was like i could i could yeah i was living a certain lifestyle you wouldn't lifestyle. think about going to a dinner you just would go yes, to a dinner yeah exactly yeah. And then I went to zero because checks stopped coming in and I kept, I didn't adjust my, my lifestyle because I was like, no, I'm going to book. I'm gonna Were book. you in the process of adjusting the lifestyle as that happened or what did it, or was it like, oh shit. And then I was sort of in the process of adjusting the lifestyle and then it was like, oh shit, I'm at zero. Zero, 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 yeah. zero. Yeah. I mean, frightening. I'm not gonna lie. I got pretty close. Yeah. And, um, there's been so many, I don't know. It's like by the seat of my pants. My brother always says, uh, jelly side up. He, he thinks that I land jelly side up. <laughs> wait, wait, explain that to me. What? So it's like, jelly if you drop side. your toast, if you drop your toast, you don't want it to land jelly side no. down. Cause it's going to get, Oh, jelly side up. You get lucky. Your yeah. jelly is not on the floor. Right. I got it. So you're, you're getting lucky. You're and landing jelly side up. I've I, never heard that. I like that. And I don't know. Maybe it's lucky, but also maybe it's a mentality thing. Yeah. Um, there, there's a little short story where the one time I've ever had an astrological reading, it was with Tara Strong's uh, mom. Okay. Susan Strong. And she uh, was, is at, I think, still is like a renowned uh, astrologer? Astro astro astrological medium. I don't okay. know what you'd call it. Okay. And she said quite a few things. It was on my 23rd birthday. Um, and my ass is getting numb. Sorry. <laughs> um, it was on my 23rd birthday. And she mentioned a couple of things that I, I think one of the things she said about love was that, that Mika was coming, even though I didn't know that that's what that was at the time. Mm. I, I can look back and be like, oh, well, that makes sense. Mm. Um, I thought I had my sunglasses on. <laughs> For the second I was feeling like this, I was like. You felt a little tickle? Oh, I felt a little tickle. Um, that was me. Can you imagine me sitting here with my sunglasses on the entire time? Yeah, you could do it. I think Keith, my homie, wore his sunglasses just on the pod the whole oh, time. Oh, good. So That's you fine. Could, you could live that life. I thought about it. You could be a rock star. Driving over here, I was like, maybe I'll just wear my sunglasses. Yeah, you could be that cool. Um, so she said something about love, and I equated that later on to Mika. But one thing she said, and I know it sounds kooky and stupid, whatever, but she mentioned something about, you know, she was like, the next few years of your life, everything is going to change. The way you make money is going to change. And I thought that was like, oh, I'll just make money in a different way. It turns out it was like, you'll make less of it or mm -hmm. none. Um, she, like she's, but she said something like, but don't, and again, she's got all the info written out, you know. She goes, but don't like worry about money. Like don't stress, not to not stress because we all stress about money, but don't like count yourself out because it'll come again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like sort of like it comes in waves and don't stress out when it's a low part. Yeah. Just like keep the faith. You're not going to, my, my astrology reading is telling me that you're not going to have to worry about it. Right. You know, and now of course I worry about it still because I'm thinking about, well, I want to make sure term. that that's set up like for when I'm, you know, retiring, but there's no such thing as retiring. I don't think in not entertainment, anymore. but yeah. I mean, if I'm, what, what would I retire to do? Right. You know, woodworking or something like that. Yeah, you could do it. Um, which I would want to do anyway right now. Um, but I kind of took it to heart. And I know it sounds silly because it's like you could say that to anybody. Just don't worry about money. And then they go, oh, well, now I got nothing. So <laughs> I'm a little worried. Um, but I don't know. I kind of just believed it. And maybe it was that little bit of extra um, faith. Yeah. That like if I just stayed positive. Yeah. That it would be okay. Yeah. You know? And through all of it, even though I was very, very stressed quite a number of times and for many years, I kept the faith that that it would be okay in the end. Yeah. Even if I had to go do something else, I knew, like, you know, well, I didn't go to college, but I know I can do anything. Yep. You know, and if anything, and being in entertainment kind of taught me that, that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Yeah. So I just kept the faith. And um, now I'm just trying to rely less on faith. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You've had the faith. I've had the now faith. now you're trying to have the, and the literal. Faith, the faith worked. Yes. And so now I'm trying to not rely on the faith. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to rely on the actual. Yeah, on the actual, make investments. 
it's smart. In- investment sounds funny. It's like literally just like just set up your retirement. Right. So that you at least have money when you get older. You get right. To, you know. Start saving. You know, we don't need to go. This isn't like a financial podcast, but like, you know, it doubles doubles every seven years. You know, if you just look it up, it's pretty basic. If you can contribute anything to a retirement account, please, please, please do it. I know you're probably sitting here watching this. Maybe you're 21 years old and you're thinking retirement account. That's and why is he talking about that? Just invest in a retirement account, even a thousand dollars or 50 bucks a month or whatever. Just start. Very important. Finances comes up a lot on this podcast because, I mean, we are talking about growing up. We are talking about adulthood. And that's when you start to feel like finances are a part. Like, I mean, yeah, that's part of it. When you really start, like, looking at your money, how am I going to make more of it? How am I going to have it in the future? Yeah.